Hey guys, this is Dimitri with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and in today's video I'm going to show you how to replace the speaker driver on your Sony XM5 headphones. I do want to let you guys know that we do offer and provide a mail-in repair service so if you want to send your headphones in and have us fix them you could fill out the repair form. The link will be down in the description as well as we do sell all the tools and the parts to do this repair. We have the speaker driver available. The link will be in the description for that as well as all the tools that you see me using here. For this repair, you will need a pry tool, a 1.5 Phillips screwdriver, and a 1.5 flathead, as well as a solder iron. So in this case, we will be replacing the speaker driver on the right-hand side for the customer. So first things first, we're using our pry tool to remove the ear pad. You're just going in here, it's on clips, just pry it up. Once you get the bottom side pried up, you can just hold it your pad off, set that aside, remove the mesh, and the speaker driver is right here. However, to replace it, we gotta go in through the front side or the back side, whatever you prefer. Next step, we'll be using our Phillips bus screwdriver. We're removing all these long silver screws. These screws are the same size, so you don't have to organize them in any particular pattern. All right, once all the screws are removed with their flat head, we're going to pry off this little rubber cover for the MS port. And with our flat head, we're just gonna come in underneath and pry it up off the speaker so that we don't tear it off when we're removing the speaker. Go ahead, flip the headphones over, pop the outside touch cover off and unplug it. Just pull it and it should disconnect from the power board. Once we've gotten to this point, the next thing that we are going to do is disconnect the battery. You should just be able to pull the connection point out and then also disconnect the main internal wire. And this right here is the speaker wire. So once all that is done, you want to unsolder these two wires right here. Once we've done that, proceed with removing these four silver screws. Alrighty, once those four screws are removed with their flat head, with our flat head, wedge it in between there and you should be able to pop this plate off. It is on adhesive. And if you have like any adhesive in here holding the wire, you could use the flat head to clear the way. Set that aside. And I like to just push this adhesive back down. And with our flat head, we're going to try to pry up the speaker. It is held on glue. This should be fairly simple. The glue isn't like too stiff or on there. There you go. The speaker driver on the XM5 is removed. So with these speaker drivers, we do have ones available on our website. The link will be down in the description if this is a repair that you're trying to do on your XM5. If you're having a sound issue, it's most likely the speaker driver. So if this is something that you want to tackle on your own, you could feel free to purchase the part as well as the toolkit to do this repair. So on the speaker, if you notice, there's a little notch right there and there's also a little notch in here. So you just wanna make sure that the notches line up with one another. That's how you know you've placed the speaker incorrectly. Hey, this is Joe from the Sauna. If this video brought you value, please support us by buying parts, tools, refurbished electronics, or sending your device in for repair so we can keep offering you free repair tutorials. Back to the video. Once you've put it into its place, just kind of push down so that it's on there. And you don't have to worry about re-adding any adhesive because it sits flush with this and this does a really good job of holding the speaker down. Next, what we are going to proceed with doing is feeding the speaker wire through this little hole. Once we've done that, there's little grooves right in here where you want to seat the speaker wire in. 
Once you've done that, go ahead and reinstall the cover. And while you do that, just pull the speaker wire through and push down on the cover so that it adheres to the adhesive. Once that is complete, we could plug the main internal wire back in. Tuck it back underneath like so. And you can fasten these silver small screws that we removed. Once the screws are fastened, there's a little notch right here for the speaker wire. Notch it in there and go ahead and solder it back on. If you don't have schematics, blue goes right there and copper goes right next to it. Now we could plug the battery back in. And I like to put this film or tape strip back over, holding everything together so that it looks factory. Now we can reinstall the touch pad. You just simply plug the ribbon back into the power board, close the cup up, flip it over, and proceed with reinstalling all the long silver screws that you removed. Now, we got the screws installed. We have to make sure that we put the MS ribbon back onto the speaker. If you pay attention really closely, the MS ribbon has a little hole there and there's also a little pin right there on the speaker driver. If you get those two lined up, that's smooth sailing from there. Line it up, seat it down. There should be some adhesive on the MS port ribbon. So once you get it down in there, just kind of push down, make sure that it's on there. And then we just place this little rubber gasket back on, make sure it's in place. Now install cushion and the ear pad is the last step. So for the ear pad, it's on clips right here where it says R3. We know that this faces downward, line it up and push on the outsides. You should hear it clip in. Alrighty, it's on there. And that, my friends, is how you replace the speaker driver on your Sony XM5 headphones. Once again, we do offer and provide a mail-in repair service. If you want to send your headphones in for us to fix them, you are more than welcome to do that. As well as we do sell all the parts and the tools necessary to do this repair. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you guys love what we do, please support us. You guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen. You guys can buy our parts, sales, or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years. Thank you.